Hello everyone, so here we are again with another rant in mind. Now I bet you're wondering what this video is, and why you should bother to keep watching. Well today we will be talking about something I am a huge fan of, Marvel. And no, today we won't be talking about the cinematic awesomeness that is this franchise, or even moments that bothered me throughout the movie. Instead we'll be discussing and mostly roasting the terrible parents of the MCU franchise, which are mostly dads for some reason. Also, even though I'm usually pretty easygoing and remain PG on this channel, today might be a little different, so a quick trigger warning for those of you who are sensitive to any of these topics. Please be aware, and if you have to sit this one out, I understand. So with all that said, let's get started. First off, we will be talking about the least present and possibly most sane of the MCU parents. Howard Stark, Tony's father. So I know we don't know much about Howard Stark, but we do learn from Tony that he was somewhat neglective due to his heavy work and money focus. Not to say neglective parents are good by any means, but considering the rest of the parents we'll be covering today, Howard is by no means the worst out there. Next up, we have Peter Quill's adoptive father, Yondu, a criminal who raised Quill after failing to deliver him to his real father, who we find out about later on. Now, although Yondu did save Peter from ultimate death from his real father and was there for him after his mother's death, and ends up saving his life in Volume 2, he still clearly was not a model parent by any means. Now, I'm aware there aren't perfect parents, but Yondu is far from even a decent parent for Peter. First off, he kidnapped Peter, granted that did turn out to be a good thing in this case, but then we also hear that he threatened to eat Peter at times and even beats him up in the first movie, while also raising the kid to be a criminal and a thief. And then there's Thor's father and Loki's adoptive father, Odin, who let's just say is kind of the worst when you think about it. Okay, look, let's all remember he locked away his daughter, Hela, who also tells us Odin was responsible for many of the citizens' deaths throughout the years. But let's save that rant for another day. Where were we? Oh, right. He also kidnapped Loki, granted yes, he saved him from ultimate death, but then lied to him about it. And then he kind of just reveals to his sons in a short death speech in Thor Ragnarok, like, yeah, hi, you have a sister I locked away who is super powerful and could destroy life as we know it, and you have to defeat her. Okay, bye which seems like a bit of a slap in the face for them both in the first place. And then we have Ego's crazy ass, Peter Quill's real father, who not only was responsible for the death of many of his previous offsprings for quote unquote, not carrying his specific gene, and who ultimately gave Peter's mother cancer, which led to her death. But here we are nearing the end, and we have one more parent to talk about, the head honcho of jerks, the big purple ass hat himself, this psycho. Thanos basically kidnapped both his quote-unquote daughters, killed their parents, royally screwed up Nebula both mentally and physically, and wiped out half of the human race in one snap. So yeah, I think as far as horrible father slash parents go in this franchise, Thanos is my number one pick. Not to say that there is art to begin with though. Sorry this video was just me rambling for 7 minutes, but I hope you got something out of it. Or maybe even gained a new perspective from this video, and if not, I don't know, just subscribe and like the video anyway. Okay, well that's all from me. Thanks for sticking around and thanks for watching. This is Sherlock Fan Number One signing off. Daddy, Daddy wasn't there.